Mixbox, the last plugin you will ever need. I know it's a tall claim, but hear me out. Track number nine, I've got a boatload of plugins and stand sheeted in order to try and get my sound. Let's listen to the drum beat. <laughs> All right, with all of these plugins, because everything is working in serial, all together, one plugin affecting the other, it sounds like it's literally clogging up the pipes. And so when I play this without anything, look at how clean it sounds, how simple it sounds. And as I add everything, it does too much by way of saturation and coloring. What if there was a solution that could handle all of these different kinds of circumstances and not just give me the ability to access any plugin that I will ever need under one GUI, but also the ability to blend those effects within the channel strip and then on top of that to mix them accordingly? Well. My good friends, I do believe that I have the solution. It is called Mixbox. It's by IK Multimedia. And let me tell you, they have done a fantastic job of doing something that no one has ever done before. It's true. Everyone has come up with a subscription model, a respectable sample library, a place you can go to access various sounds. Although there are some things to be aware of. For example, having to update year after year and having to pay that fee, right? Some people agree with it, some don't. I understand the business part of it. Hear me out here. Mixbox, you pay one time, one fee, and you get all manner of amplifiers, channel strips, preamps, delays, distortions, Every effect you will ever need, every compressor, an FET, a VCA, DSer, limiter, LA2A, opto compressor, EQs, filters, and a lot of good ones at that. Modulation sources, chorus, flanger, phase, a great unique uh, feature here called slicer, tremolo, every manner of reverb you will ever need, and of course, what would be complete without saturation. Guys, one price, of course, if they go to Mixbox version two, you might have to pay at that point. But if I could do it all over again, personally, I would just buy Logic and I would just buy a plugin like this. At the time, when I first started about seven years ago, no one had had anything like this. And so when I saw this, I thought I have to show my clan, I have to show my community, because number one, it could save you a lot of time, money aggravation. But number two, it's all right here in front of us. And again, the main perks is that you can blend the effect to taste. So what I did here was I automatically constructed this by way of a preset. Right? This is where I select the presets inside of Mixbox. You can save your own, of course, update these accordingly. Right? Initialize this to start over and create your own sets. And so look at how great this sounds. And I'll show you a little bit of the workflow in terms of blending things to taste, okay? So here we go. All right, so I like that tone, but I'm gonna back off of the Screamer here. This is a uh, emulation of the Ibanez Screamer. All right, we're gonna bring the ratio down from this channel strip. Maybe I'll bring down that bring up the attack a little bit maybe instead of 20 to 1 i'll just go 12 to 1. all right good i will take a little bit off in terms of the blend the dry wet of the 1176 and then i will increase the volume a bit here maybe reduce it off of the screamer let's try this out Okay, I like that, so here's before. 
All right, let's listen to it with the song. Here we go. All right, and perhaps to address the issue of the snare, maybe to get it to pop a little bit more, what I'll do is I'll hit that button on the top left. And so then I will try and go into the world of either filtering. Let's see if I can come up with something interesting here. Not that one. That's like a Moog filter, perhaps like a filter. For, let's try this out. All right, and not only that, but I can use this to blend within the drum kit. So here's before. All right, here's after. And then what I'll do is I'll go into automation key command A. I'll hit the morph button up here on the top right. Automation parameter updates accordingly. And then I will play with the signal so that it morphs over time. So if I hit V to hide the plugin really quick, I'll create some automation nodes in various places just to kind of get this to sing a little bit. All right, let's bring that back down, good. And then I'll just put one there and one there. So right there on that hi-hat fill, that's when I'm really gonna pump this up. So I'll drag this all the way up. Let's see how this goes. That's nice, and maybe I'll get that resonance to also follow suit. All right, this might be a good place for it too. This time I'll really go to town, go all the way up. Let's see how this sounds. All right, that sounds good. Why don't I go all the way up? So you see how it's coloring the sound right here is before. A lot more interesting like this. All right, let's see what happens if I drop this all the way down. Very, very colorful plugin. Let's play not with drums, but with synths. So I got a synth up here, sounds like this. All right, sounds great. I would love for it to sound a little bit meaner and here, we can go to the preset menu. Let's go to synth and let's see if we could find something interesting. Analog saw. Let's try that out. See what that sounds like. All right, here's before. Yeah, I would say that sounds meaner. Check it out. So if you like the sound overall, but you just need the output to come down a little bit, you would play with this slider. You can also bring down the input volume so that the source is not hitting the plugins as hard. All right, let's listen to this. So those drums are sounding a little bit better. The synth is sounding a little bit better. Let's see about this bass here. So I'm gonna take off all of this information. I'll put one instance of mix box. And another thing I really like about this, of course, you could use it as a, as a bus send, but you may not even have to just because you can blend to taste within the plugin. So this could potentially expedite your workflow substantially. And so then we'll build something here from scratch. Let's go with a compressor just to kind of get the ball rolling. Let's go with a 1176. Here we go. All right. So for any of us that mix consistently, we know that mixing the bass and compressing it 
is very important as we want the signal to be really even all across the board. So this is before. All right, and this is now pushing it with an 1176, making it real consistent all across. Okay, I like that a lot. Another thing that I'm gonna do is saturate after the fact. I'm really falling in love with the Saturator X. I think this thing is such an animal. Let's listen to it. All right, so here's before the Saturator. really makes it come alive. Let's listen to this bass section with no mix box. Here we go. Very good. And then let's see, we'll do a couple more things here. We're going to put some EQ. Let's go with the parametric and then we'll just take a little bit off the bottom here. So let's say 400. Let's see if we can get rid of some of that mud. So now we can clean up using parametric EQs. If you're not comfortable using parametric EQs, let me assure you that the margin of error is a bit wider. And so you can just kind of like guess a little bit, at least when you're first starting. Of course, at some point you just develop your ears and you start developing your intuition. You start trusting yourself. Uh, but I love using this to learn just the art of EQ. Let's see if there's anything else that we can add that would be really interesting. Let me show you the slicer. This is probably like my favorite thing. So it basically takes the audio and, and kind of does its own thing with it. So let's uh, let's create a loop so that we're sure of the pattern that we're listening to up here. All right, let's see what it does. Listen to that pattern with my track. So all sorts of fun to be had, and we really haven't even touched the surface again, every kind of reverb imaginable, all kinds of modulation sources phasers, tremolo, chorus, again, a wah pedal right here, LFO filter, absolutely incredible offering by IK Multimedia. I'm going to put an affiliate link in the bottom here in the description. If you want to support the channel, go ahead and check them out. We do get a kickback, so we highly appreciate you taking the time. And look, the aim is always the same to provide you the very best information on YouTube today. I want to make your journey efficient. I want to save you time, energy, and money. And had I known about a product like Mixbox when I first got started, it would have been a wonder. Now, it wasn't available back then because there was technological limitations, but there are no limitations right now for you. So go ahead and step forward into your greatness and take your music career to the next level. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.